Tom mentioned this briefly, but a big part of the security for the Flying Pig will be provided by specially trained dogs. Nine on Your Side reporter Bryce Onslinger continues our live team coverage downtown with more. Bryce? Well, that's right, Carol. We're live here along Maring Way near Paul Brown Stadium. This will be the first mile that the runners run here on Sunday morning, and it will also be checked by those canine. Police canine units will be out here checking cars and checking bags. And we were with the Cincinnati Police Department as they went over some drills with their dogs, Duke and Gus. You can see how these dogs are able to go from car to car searching for possible explosives. That's Duke right there. He'll be checking bags that are reported as suspicious or just unattended. Now, Flying Pig organizers are supplying runners, like Tom said, with see-through bags. And they're also asking participants to limit the number of bags that uh, they bring down so that there's no suspicious bags down here that these dogs have to check. Now, the Cincinnati Police Canine Unit did not use their dogs for last year's Flying Pig Marathon, but they wanted to add that element of security to this year's race after what happened, happened in Boston so that they uh, can take as many precautions as possible. Bryce Onslinger, not on your side, live downtown. All right, Bryce, thanks for that report.